Hi and welcome back to Aesop's e-lessons. Today we'll be discussing personification. Personification is a figure of speech. It gives human qualities to a non-living object, animal or idea. An example is the toast jumped out of the toaster. And here we see that toast is given the human ability to jump. Another example is the flowers danced in the wind or love is blind. Personification can also be positive or negative. So if I say the sun smiled down on the playful children, this shows the sun being happy. Whereas if I say the sun beat down on the farm workers below, this suggests that the sun is angry and harsh. Personification can also be shown in literature when a capital letter is used. For example, I met death when I was young. And it's easy to remember because the word personification has the word person in it. And person means human, so remember, Personification means giving a human quality to an inanimate object, an animal, or an idea. So let's test your grasp of the concept. See if you can identify and explain what's been personified in each sentence. You can pause the video to write your answers before I highlight them for you. In number one, the city is personified and given the ability to sleep. In number two, the world is personified and given the ability to be honest. In number three, the truth is personified, that's an idea, as it is given the ability to demand. In number four, darkness is personified and given the ability to be a friend. In number five, the earth is personified and given the ability to swallow. In number six, the rain is personified and given the ability to play a song. In number seven, a cat is personified and given the ability to have a conversation. Number eight, the party is personified and given the ability to die. In number nine, death is personified as it prepares for a busy day. And in number 10, the smell of pizza is personified as it is given the ability to welcome people. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram or Facebook and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.